Women will train you to be the kind of a guy that they can cheat on. By now, you have heard the claim that women cheat with military precision. Women can cheat on you for years and get away with it. Women can make you raise a child that is not yours for 20 years. How do you think that becomes possible? That's because women train you to be the guy that they can cheat on. The first thing a woman does when she gets into a relationship with you, she's going to come after your masculine frame. She's going to move you from your masculine frame. She's going to make sure that she destroys your masculine frame. She will find you as a firm guy, a solid guy. And from time to time, when you don't agree with just anything she says, she'll be like, hey, when I'm out. That's a subtle way of, you know, when I, you never even agree, even just to make me happy. When time goes on, you'll be agreeing just to please her. You agree to anything because you conform to the claim that a happy woman, a happy, a happy home, a happy wife, a happy home. Those things are the things that move you from your masculine frame, guys. A woman will train you and push you to a point whereby you overlook red flags. How does she do that? First, women who are full of games, women who cheat, they will call you controlling. They will call you insecure. They will call you toxic. Because... They cannot find ways, they cannot find loopholes to manipulate you, loopholes to fool you around. You question everything. We want to hold her accountable. This type of women, you'll hear them saying, my phone, my privacy. But before you know it, you won't be questioning her moves. There will be guys calling her, just checking up on her. And you won't be able to ask questions because where now, you don't want to be called insecure. Where now, you don't want to be called controlling when i don't want to be called toxic guys how come as men we claim we are territorial but we don't question anything and everything that happens within our territory anything suspicious when you can ask questions because you don't want to be called insecure you don't want to be called controlling that's manipulation guys there isn't a woman can cheat on you for two years with one guy and then you don't pick it up because she, she taught you to ignore red flags. She trained you, she groomed you to ignore red flags. Every time a woman calls you controlling, every time a woman calls you insecure, she's training you to ignore anything that is suspicious about her. You are being trained, you are being groomed. Before you know it, she's cheating on you with the guy she told you it's her cousin. With the guy she told you she, he's just a friend. She's cheating on you for years, just under your nose. How can somebody cheat on you for two years and you don't pick anything up? Because she made sure before she's going to cheat on you, she taught you to ignore. Insecure, controlling. She's making sure that you would never question anything. People make mistakes, guys. Nobody can cheat on you for five years, for two years. Without you picking it up. Even, even serial killers, guys, they get caught. Because they will make a mistake. Women are not that good at cheating. Women are, not, women are poor at cheating, guys. When a woman cheats on you, she becomes distant. She's no longer interested in sex. She becomes disrespectful. She doesn't have time for you. She doesn't respect you anymore. But as guys, we are told these things are toxic traits. When you question a woman, you are called this a, it's a toxic trait. Women have made sure that we, we are weak, we are simps. We don't have backbones. That's, that, is, that, that is the only way a woman can cheat on you for two years and get away with it. You don't question anything, but she's your woman. You get told, you don't own me. In an exclusive relationship, I own you, you own me. I've got the responsibility to you. You've got the responsibility to me. You need to hold me accountable. I need to hold you accountable. I need to answer to you. You need to answer to me. We are in a relationship. We are protecting each other's interests. How, how am I in a relationship with you and I don't get to protect my interests? Women are training you guys to be guys they can cheat on. Hmm? She's cheating on you. With a guy you see her with every single day. She's cheating on you and a guy she goes to work every day with. You're not picking that up because you, you were told so you don't trust me.
So when I, any guy, you see me with, you think I'm fucking. And you buy that nonsense. It, it's a bluff, guys. Nobody's that good at cheating, guys. Nobody's that good at cheating. Emana, people make mistakes. When somebody's going to cheat on you, their routine is going to be suspicious. Their moves, there'll, there'll be something out of the ordinary that you should be picking up. You guys are not attentive. You guys are not observant. You claim you are territorial. But you don't know anything that is happening in your territory. People come in and out of your territory as they please and then you don't pick it up. You don't question anything because of when you don't, you don't want to be called insecure. When you don't want to be con controlled. Can you guys, why, why do you seek so much approval from ladies? Why, why do you want to be liked by women, guys? Guys, women who are full of games, they will call you insecure for questioning them. They will call you toxic. They will call you controlling when you question their suspicious move, their suspicious character, their suspicious routine. They emasculate you. At the end of the day, you no longer question anything. You must watch women in the beginning of a relationship. They are great. That's because they are studying you. A woman doesn't just change after six months, after a... No. The time she was acting right, the time she was faithful, she was loyal. She was training you. She was strategizing. She was studying to see how she can maneuver her ways around you. Until she has a master plan on how to cheat you. And then before she cheat on you, before she start cheating on you, she's going to make sure that she took away the right to question her. She took away the right to hold her accountable. She took away the right to hold her responsible. There is no fucking way a woman can cheat on you for two years and then you don't pick it up, guys. That's nonsense. Women cheat with military precision. That's nonsense. Why don't they want to be questioned? Why don't they want to be held responsible? Why do they call you insecure? Why do they call you controlling if they cheat with military precision? If they cheated with military precision, they would let you question them and still get away with it. Women train you to be the guy they can cheat on. They will turn you into a sim. Like, you, you won't even have a voice. Most of you guys, you, you can't even tell your woman no. You can't even tell your woman you won't tolerate this, you won't tolerate that. That thing is not acceptable. Because you've been emasculated. Women don't want men with balls, guys. The only guy a woman can cheat on for two years or longer is guys they've cut their balls. It's guys they make sure he doesn't have a weight. Most of you guys, you are afraid of your women. Sometimes you are even suspicious. You are, you, you are, you are suspicious, but you won't question the suspicion. There are guys who will come to you, they will, they will tell you, man, I've seen your woman with this guy, you know, you, I've seen your woman at this guest house with this guy, and then, you know, for a couple of times now. Well, now because of you've been emasculated, you are afraid of your woman. You go to your woman and tell her everything. You don't investigate to find out if these things are, are wrong or, or are true. The first thing you do, guys, you run to your woman. You know, you know, baby, Tepang, Tepang tells me this, 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 this and this. You know, Tepang... I think Tepang is jealous of us. I think Tepang wants to break us up. You've been emasculated. The next thing now your woman knows that, oh, people are suspicious of me. Now your woman becomes extra careful now. Now they start to cheat far away from you. Guys, women train you to cheat on you. You find out eight years later that you've been raising the child that is not even yours. Because a woman trained you to never ask questions. A woman told you that if you ask for a DNA test, that disrespect. Emona, you are not sure this is your child. If she shows your child, why must she have a problem with you having a DNA test? All these things that a woman is cheating on you, a woman is having you raising a child that is not even yours, that's because she trained you to never ask questions. By blackmailing you, calling you insecure, calling you controlling, saying you don't trust her, why would you want the DNA? That is disrespectful. That is training and grooming. Guys, if that means being toxic, be toxic. If that means being controlling, be controlling. If that means being insecure, be insecure, guys. My friends be like, how come you not famous yet? I be like, you didn't share my shit. My friends be like, how come you not famous yet? I be like, you didn't share my shit.